Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises. Today, I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Aquarius. So let's get into it. So, Angel, what do we have for Aquarius at this time? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't let anyone steal your shine, okay, boo? It's just not worth it. So the first guy that came out is Detoxify. So you could be dealing with a tourist. I'm saying that you could be detoxing from this person at this time. And you need to be proud of yourself. Yeah, and it's because you made time for self-love and you honored your feelings. So Capricorn, I'm seeing that you could have thought something through or you're needing to think something through. Possibly when it comes to a Taurus, a Libra, or a Gemini. I'm saying that you're definitely detoxing from a Taurus at this time, and you need to be proud of yourself. Definitely when it does, definitely when it has to do with this Taurus, because it has four moon and Taurus detoxify, and that's for the moon and Taurus. Be proud of yourself. So yeah, it's because you made time for self love and you honored your feelings. It's because you thought it through. Okay, Aquarius. So angels, what's the tea? What we got for Aquarius at this time. We got the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Four of Swords in the reverse. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Libra energy, with the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I'm seeing that you have some type of truth. You have some type of clarity here. Possibly a part of partnership that you were in. I'm seeing that it crumbled. And you could be, you know, really needing to put this to rest because we got the four of swords and it's like it's in the reverse so you're not able to heal from this or you're not able to put something to rest here yeah ace of swords it's because you found out some type of truth or clarity yeah ten of wands so there could be either a pisces libra sagittarius energy I'm saying that this person is weighed down because the partnership didn't work. And this person is not able to put something to rest because they know the truth now. Yeah, two of wands in the reverse. Now this person could be indecisive. So somebody is very indecisive to the point that they are impatient. This is somebody who has been cutting corners with you. And they need to be honest with their self. This is somebody who was closed-minded at one point in time. And with the three of swords, they could have broke your heart here. Hmm, we do have the Queen of Cups in reverse, so you could have been dealing with a mark or somebody that's just insecure. This Queen of Cups in reverse can also be somebody who manipulated you emotionally. This is somebody who knew that you cared about them. So they used the love that you had for them and took advantage of it. This could possibly be why the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's like, you don't have love for this person no more. You don't want to be in a connection with this person no more. Ten of Wands, and it's because of this person. It's like the actions they took, it literally, you know, weighs you down. This is crazy. Let me get one more card. Here we got this Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is being blocked from your energy. Three of Cups in the reverse. This is an odd. Somebody who you once chilled with, turned up with. This person is now your enemy. And they're trying to block you. This Queen of Cups in reverse. And it's because of their insecurities. It's giving. Get your own shit. Find your blessings elsewhere. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? Somebody is now wanting to compromise. This could be another female. Yeah. And it's because they're overwhelmed. After causing conflict with you. This is somebody who tried to exploit you, rob you of your happiness and joy. And it's because you were satisfied. You was able to feel good at night and you lived and learned from a situation. <sighs> Why is the four swords here in the reverse for Aquarius? Yeah. Somebody is not able to put something to rest because you're rejecting their rest. And you're holding back from them with savings. Care. So... Somebody that you share a kid with, with parenthood, this person, this person could be wanting your support, but you're rejecting this person at this time. You're holding back with withdrawal and saving with care. Like, yeah, you're, you're holding back 
even supporting this person at this time. Yeah, and it's because you got evidence on this person that they was causing conflict for you to cause you to be overwhelmed about a situation. And this could have been a surprise to you that somebody was literally trying to control shit behind the scenes. And it's because of their arrogance, their stubbornness. This was the goal, to try to bind you. This is sad. Last the two of wands in reverse. Somebody is indecisive now. This third wheel enemy, they're indecisive now. And it's because they know you don't trust them. But this was this enemy's goal, to have you indecisive, to have you impatient. And now this person is having to be honest with their stuff after cutting corners. This is somebody who was closed-minded, Aquarius. And they did this out of stubbornness, trying to control shit from behind the scenes. <laughs> but you already lived and learned. Mm -mm -mm. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah, somebody is weighed down and they're scared. They're paranoid. They're depressed. And it's because of your blessings here. So, some, so somebody is weighed down, stressed the fuck out because of your blessings. Like, this is sad. Yeah, this could be somebody that's at a distance from you. They're mad that you're relaxing. That you do something with an ease, Aquarius. And they wanted you to be weighed down, burning. This could be a Sagittarius. Yeah. But you already lived and learned from the past. And now somebody's scared, so you got to ask here. Okay, well, this could be somebody from your past. I'm saying that somebody was in their pride and fucking ego here. Now they're scared, paranoid, because of what they did in the past. You already lived and learned from Wow. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Yeah, it's the truth. The truth is, you are a blessing. And somebody is now wanting to compromise with you for gain. So, yeah, somebody want to apologize to you now. Look, they want to apologize to you now because they could be locked up while you're receiving good news. This person was prompted here. They was prompted by a family here to bully you and laws. Mm -mm -mm. This motherfucker was really, you know, praying possibly to that man downstairs and everything to make you look. Whatever they thought they was gonna gain, it was all in their fucking head. Like, I don't know what this person thought they was doing. This could have been a cancer energy. So this Queen of Cups could be a Cancer energy too, fool. Cancer feminine energy. Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, somebody is now wanting to apologize for trying to separate you, for trying to cause a miscarriage, a divorce, a heartache, or fertility problems. And it's because they're powerless after being stubborn. This is this person's goal, to be a third wheel enemy and they found joy and delight in that. Because they thought they was going to be able to stop you and scratch you out. This is the origin behind it. Now this person is needing your mercy and aid because you really was of alliance. You really was a true friend. Now this person is going through nightmares. Mm. What a shame. What did I make you do? Why well, is the seven of wands here? Yeah, somebody is blocked though. And you could be standing your ground against this person. This is somebody who sees you as competition or they're trying to cause challenges for you. Yeah. So somebody was prompted to try to challenge you. They were coached. Now this person needs your help. They need your aid. Yeah, because they thought they were going to hit the jackpot when they did this. They thought that they were going to be able to sleep good at night. But this is somebody who was wearing the mask. So somebody thought they was gonna hit the jackpot if you know they blocked you, if they competed with you. This is this is what somebody did for work. So this is somebody's profession. Somebody's profession is to block people. Now they need your help and aid. This Queen of Cups in reverse. Who is this Queen of Cups in reverse to Aquarius? This Queen of Cups in reverse is the one that's getting karma. This Queen of Cups in reverse is getting karma because they tried to cause you danger or injury here, and they're fucking mad. They're furious. And it's because you knew your worth. <laughs> you knew your worth. And now this queen of this queen of cups in the reverse is feeling a certain type of way. 
Yeah, because you were over lying. So somebody is feeling a certain type of way because you really with somebody that they can dress. You really with somebody that was of an alliance and they feel a certain type of way now because they could have crossed the line with you. So let's see what's going on. So what's the closing message? What's the outcome of this situation? What's the outcome? So the outcome is somebody was working too hard and you're needing to release your power. So somebody was putting in all this work, bro. And you're needing to release your power. Because from this death would come rebirth. Because somebody was doing voodoo on you. So somebody was out here doing voodoo on you. Trying to bring a death. But from that death only became a rebirth. Now it's time for you to release your power. Because somebody was working very hard. Because your sensuality is beautiful. So somebody is hating on your sensuality. Uh-huh. This is somebody that was holding on way too tight. And it transitioned to the spiritual realm. So whatever this person, this voodoo they was doing, this voodoo death magic, because we got voodoo and blue, and we got from death comes rebirth. So somebody did death magic. They released their power, and it was working too hard. And this shit transitioned to the spiritual realm. This is somebody that was strangely lonely and holding on way too tight to your energy. And it's because your sensuality was beautiful. But be true to yourself, Aquarius, because these two little witches, it's cleanup time. And what comes around comes back around. These bitches was trying to invade your privacy, overstep your boundaries, and dominate you. So I hope they're ready. Because what comes around, comes back around. Like I said, somebody was doing voodoo death magic, and it was working very hard at it. Yep. But it's a clear solution, because somebody was doing all this motherfucking work. But count your blessings. Because... These people from your past only returning for a time, and it's just to invade your boundaries. This is a tempting offer at a high price, and it's because the natural world needs you. This love is strange, and it's because somebody keeps trying to glamour you with drama. These three little witches is going to be stifled, stuck, and bored, and it's because your angels are here. And it's time for you to say hello to healing, so these three little witches are about to be blocked. Okay. Simple, stuck, and bored. And it's because it's time for you to say aloha to Helen. And the only thing these bitches keep doing is sending you voodoo death magic. It's, a, it's, 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 it's enough of that. I also feel as though this queen of cups could have tried to block your love life. Now they're not able to heal something with you. Because of their, you know, impatientness, closed-mindedness. Yeah. Now they weighed down, burdened. Because you are detoxifying yourself from them. And... You're needing to be proud of yourself, period. 